I'm Kip from KipHakes.tv and I'm very excited because I've got a new phone. And look, it is the Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G and it is literally just arrived and I want to play with it and I'll get it out and set it up and everything like that. But I thought I would show you and unbox it and set it up with you watching, hopefully. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get this bad boy out of the box. I've got my overhead camera set up so I can show you exactly what's what and uh, hopefully we can do this together. So uh, yeah, let's go and have a look. So there we go. Right, let's crack open this security seal. So exciting, there we go. I'm really looking forward to this. I've wanted this phone for a little while, it's very exciting. Look at that, that's like all the cameras. Wow. Amazing. That is so cool. I'm very impressed with that. Right, but it's an unboxing video, so we, we'll worry about the phone in a second. Let's see what's in the box. A paper insert. So we have got the power adapter. Okay, so instead of having a USB uh, socket on the back, it's got a USB-C socket. That's interesting. And yeah, so this is like a travel charger, so this pops up. Just makes it a little bit easier for when you're traveling. And that is not just fast charging, that is super fast charging. That must be really fast. <laughs> so we've got the USB-C cable. There we go. Let's uh, just pull that out. You know what? I've got so many USB-C cables knocking around. I'm just going to put that back nicely. I just wanted to show you what's in the box. Okay, so there's that. Aha! So it looks like we've got another AKG he headset. Samsung have been working with AKG for a couple of years now, and uh, I love AKG stuff. And uh, yeah, that's that again. I like keeping things as box fresh as possible and I'm not going to get that out properly until I really need it. I've got like another AKG headset so uh, yeah, we'll worry about that another time. So that's it. That's all that's in the box I think. Alright, oh, okay so this does have a screen protector fitted. Samsung I think with the S10 have started fitting screen protectors so it does have a screen protector on it already so don't just think that's part of the packaging because it's not. But this is part of the packaging, this bit of uh, plastic on the back here. But I'll tell you what, we'll just leave that on for now. Let's uh, let's power this up. This is where we discovered it probably doesn't have any charge. Oh, there we go. So I've got this uh, from 3. I'm on the 3 network. Uh, it is a SIM unlocked phone. Uh, 3 provide all their phones unlocked now, so that's good. So uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll go through the setup with you. I'm not. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to actually import all my apps and stuff from my old phone because when I get a new phone, I like to start fresh because when you use your phone a lot, you end up with loads of apps you don't really use. So I just think I'm going to start afresh and add apps and things as I need them. So here we go. Oh, this is really hard to see on the camera because of the refresh rate. So let's do English United Kingdom. That is where we are. Oh, okay, choose a Wi-Fi network. Let me get onto the Wi-Fi. Oh, I can't wait to play with this properly. Right, okay, connect. There we go. Service provider setup. Doesn't have a SIM in, so I uh, don't think it's going to be able to do anything now. Okay, your phone needs to restart to set up features from your service provider. Let's uh, allow it to restart. Doo -doo -doo. This is so exciting. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm very excited. I wish you could just appreciate how nice this screen looks. And also, it doesn't seem to have any 3 branding all over it. Unless that's going to happen now. So there we go, starting up. Copy apps and data. So no, we're not going to copy. 
because, as I say, I want a fresh start. Like all my Google contacts are backed up to the cloud. All the photos are backed up to the cloud, so I can pull those down. But yeah, I'll just go and add apps as I need them. And also, I've got, I've got a case for this already. It's literally waiting to go on this, but I thought I'd show it as is first. So let me just sign into my Google account. You'll probably want to uh, pull stuff down from that as well. And because I've got two-factor authentication on, it's probably gonna go, excuse me, you need to look at your phone. You know what, I'm so excited I've forgotten my password. Um, is that it? Yeah. So now it's uh, wanting to make sure it's me. Yes, that's me. There we go. Just a sec. There we go, right. Oh, look at that. That didn't work. Never mind. Google services. So yes, that's all good. There we go, so just accepting the things. Right, okay, we need to uh, set up face recognition. Ooh, let's do this. Oh, actually, we shouldn't do fa face recognition because I don't have my glasses on. I, don't, I can't be bothered to get my glasses right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So before I've got a set of fingerprints, I've got to do a pin, I can do a pin. When you're doing this, basically, you just got to scan your thumb as many times as possible. Well, it doesn't have to be your thumb, but that's like your main one, isn't it? Yeah, all right, naggy. Yeah, the uh, it makes a bit of banding on the screen, like the high refresh rate of the screen. So I do apologise that. Get recommended apps. No. No. Yeah, right, okay, sign into your Samsung account. Yeah, I'll skip that, I'll do that later. Skip out on all this! They really want you to use a Samsung account. I will, I will. I just wanna get into the sort of the fun bit of the phone, that's all. All done, excellent. Just a sec. So there we go. Oh, discover and install great apps. Are they great? <laughs> look, look at that, it's, ask, it's asking if I'm male or female or something else to recommend apps. Why does it do that? Okay. I might skip that bit. Don't want to tell you my age. There we go, right, this is all firing up now. Um, nope, nope. It's just trying to make me download like TikTok and stuff. Don't have a TikTok account. Okay, there we go. Don't want to download Autodoc. Download that stuff later. Don't want House of Fun and Casino Games. No, no, I don't want Slot Mania. Just let me, just let me decide. There we go. Look. There we go. We're in. Let's add some weather information. We'll let it use my location. That's that's handy. It's good to, good to know the location. There we go. Da, da, da. Okay, it's all done. It's all set up. Now it looks a bit um, it looks a bit noddy in Toy Town at the moment. It's like got big icons. Can we can we change those? Nope. Nope. See, it's downloading like updates and stuff now. So that's a bit boring. Let's see. Can we change the display? I don't like it being all kind of like big and stuff. Oh, hang on. Right. So we can, at the moment, that's 60 hertz. If we go at a, a higher refresh rate. Oh, that's actually better, I think. Yeah, that looks better. I think it was only at 60 hertz. Right, there we go. Um, screen resolution. Let's go for Wakwa Twada. Wakwa There we go. Ah, high refresh rate isn't supported by that. That's annoying. Where can we change the size of the icons? Just bear with me a second. K 
Okay. Ah. Home screen settings, that's it. That's better, isn't it? Slightly smaller app icons. Cool, right. So you can change it so it's just the home screen and that shows all the apps, a bit like, like an Apple phone or something. Or you can have it home and apps. I like home and apps, that's fine. Right, good. Wow, okay. So how do we get rid of? Right, see, and that's that's a bit noddy in Toy Town there. So let's change that in the um, home screen settings. And there we go, app screen grid. And we'll go for the five by six. Much better. There we go, save. So um, the main thing that everyone loves about this phone is the camera. So should we have a little look at the camera? Well, I'm going to take I'm going to take a picture of what I'm looking at right now. There we go. And I'll show you the pictures I've taken. I might have to blur something out because there's an order for something on the screen. It's nothing weird, obviously. Right. Okay. So that's good. Excellent. Well, that is. That is it, that is the Samsung S20 Ultra 5G all unboxed. So what I'm gonna do now is get my SIM, stick it in. It's the uh, SIM slot at the top. Actually, I've not done any of that stuff, have I? I'm, I'm rubbish. Right, so we'll have a little quick look around the phone first. So uh, we've got a pinhole camera at the top there. And then we've got the camera array on the back. And so on the side here, we've got a, uh, it's, it's sort of like a power slash Bixby button. Uh, you summon Bixby by holding it down and you use it to switch off the screen and to lock it by just giving it a short press down. And then you've got the volume controls here. So there's nothing on this side, which is a bit of a departure because usually the volume controls are on this side. Um, and then at the top, we've got the slot for the SIM card and the memory card. And then on the bottom, we've got the uh, USB-C connector. And there's no headphone jack. There's no headphone jack on this model. Um, something I've discovered is because the power button doesn't work as a power button completely, it summons Bixby, there's a different way to turn the phone on and off. So first of all, you can swipe down and then you can press the power icon at the top there. And that is basically as you'd expect, like the holding the power button, or you can press and hold volume down and the power button, long hold, and then it does the same. If you just do a short press on volume down and power, that is the screenshot control. <laughs> so that is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G, all unboxed, and honestly, I can't wait to play with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya!